Shea Bear 1000 here again. Look what I got. Okay. Let's see if we can make that piece of crap blue thing over there go. Alright. So, let's check this thing out. Okay, so with this thing, we got our pull rope here. We got a gas tank here. Um, but like I said, something's locked up on it. So let's just go ahead and let's pull this uh, recoil starter off of here. I'm not sure what size this is either. So this should have everything in here we need put onto that one and of course we got an extra carburetor here I think they're Walbro's I think it's a Walbro carb can't remember just uh just kind of like a weed eater motor really guys just kind of a just a souped up weed eater motor that see this one looks a little different yeah this one this one had something bad happen to it there a rod or piston or wrist pin or something bad happened to this thing Yeah, see, it's just, I don't know. I don't know if this one's going to fit on here. But, we need to try to find out. See what's going on here. Um, where's my drill? There it is. That's not going to do it. So, let me get my impact gun, my little impact gun. Let's see if it'll take it off. Okay, guys, so what I'm doing is I got that, that off of there. And um, I don't think I filmed any of it. So, I got this started on here. And I did notice there's some, there's some shavings aluminum shavings down in here so I think that is what came from this see this one this one's a little different setup like I said my daughter's had this one on this style so I think that's where all them shavings came from was from this so I want to try to get this to go on here these threads are a little boogered up at the beginning but I think they'll straighten up now I don't know if this is going to even fit I don't even think this is well I don't know let's see there's a screw here we gotta get this screw out of here But I think if anything, it's worth worth buying the piece that I need. You know, the part that I need. 
So that's the same. Yeah, it should fit. All right, guys. Let me see if I can get this screwed on here the way it's supposed to be. Then we'll come back and we'll get this thing bolted on. And we'll take the tank and get it bolted on. It bolts down here. I remembered. As soon as I seen it, I remembered. It bolts right down below here, so hang tight guys okay guys so I put this on here I forgot about this a couple little dowels there that'll help you line everything up Okay, just like that. Now, I'm gonna put some screws in here. Uh, this thing's hotter than hell, feels like it's been running. Dang, forgot something. Put this thing on it. Shoot. If I remember right. Yeah, this helps hold the gas, the fuel tank on. This slips right in here to that rubber piece right there. So, avoid put that on. Put the other ones in. Um, let me see. Where's my little tool here? Yeah, these things are. Yeah, they're pretty cool. need to get what do I need to get okay all right well let's get our fuel tank on here I'm gonna to have to try to find some fuel lines I got fuel lines but I have no idea where they're at and this is not gonna fit on here see that because of this thing this plate so where did they have whoops sorry guys Where did they have this mounted? Because this mounts in. Yeah, this mounts way up here. And as you can see, must have took a different tank. These went down in here. They stuck in them holes and then the tank screwed into those two holes there so I don't know well we got a tank anyway at least right so let me uh, hmm yeah I don't know where they would have had this mounted at don't even make sense where would they have had their tank I don't even know if I don't know I don't know where they would have mounted this I could probably try to mount it right there run my fuel lines because right here's where the fuel lines are going to go in yeah I'm going to try that just to Sounds like there's a filter rattling around in here. 
and there is there's a bunch of gunk in there I gotta clean that out anyway let me get that cleaned out somewhat and then we'll get it mounted on here some way <laughs> and I'll see if I can find some fuel lines so stick with me guys okay guys so let's go ahead and do this I'll speed you up through this you can listen to a little bit of music while I do this and uh, because really all I'm doing guys is putting these four bolts in and one's going to go in right there to just hold the tank for now until I can figure out another place to put it I may be able to you know make a bracket to come from here to there let's just see first um, if we can get it to run and stay running we know it runs so all right now that's all I'm going to do so cue the music Okay guys, now we're going to put some fuel in this and we're going to see by pumping this, this primer bulb, if it's going to suck it up in there. I do have, I did put that little filter, it's also a weight down on the bottom of that. Uh, I blew through it and sucked through it and it's, uh, it seems to be fine. It, it looks bad, but it's not. Well, it doesn't seem to be. Okay, now let's put some fuel in here. We don't have to check the oil. Whoops. And I don't know if that's going to be enough. But we'll find out. Yeah, it should be. Now if we watch these lines real close, this if I can get you zoomed in on that. We should see fuel when I pump that primer bulb, we should see fuel. There it is. That fuel's coming out of there already. That's weird. Why did it do that? I might have them lines on backwards. Huh. let's start this thing up well what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this idle down a little bit just to be safe I'm gonna back you up I'm not sure what's going on here weird Okay, well let's just switch these lines just to make sure
Oh man, I got so much sweat coming in my eyes. There we go. There we go. All right. Let's <laughs> fiddle around again. Chokes on. Let's uh let's prime it. That should do it. carburetor issue well maybe not it's well it might have oh the, that bowl sticking that primer bulb sticking an issue with the carb but I'm gonna bring you over here and see if I can make it move up through here okay it runs brake sticking and it needs some carburetor work but it does run. I'll be right back. Okay guys, so there it is. It will run and ride. Chain came off once, but it needs adjusted. Um, you can't ride it per se. Because carburetor issues, there's little rubber diaphragms in there. They finally turn to plastic after a while. So I think that's what's going on with that. So anyway, at least we saw it move on its own power. And uh, yeah <laughs> all right guys thanks for watching i couldn't leave you hanging in the other video like that <laughs> shea bear the myth the man legend gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye and take care